Hey guys, welcome to part three of how to code a, a jumper game in Scratch. And if you play our game right now, it's actually getting quite fun. And there's a cat where you can, and you can move around. There are also collectibles that that attract the player. There are also some sounds. But oh man, it's really it's missing a really important aspect of every game. Can you guess what that is? Correct, it's danger. Because currently the only way our player can lose the game is by falling to the ground. But we don't want that. That's a little bit too easy. So we're just going to create a danger sprite. So I just made a very quick bomb. You can rename the sprite to danger. And you have to and you have to make sure the sprite is in the center of the canvas until it just snaps to the crosshair. It's very important. And also your your danger sprite should be around the same size as your collectibles or else it will just look all over the place so now to the coding a lot of the code for the danger sprite is very similar to the collectible sprite so you can just drag them over to the danger sprite so now i have them but there are only some little blocks that we need to change. First, we don't need to set the score. And we don't really want it to wait, pick random one to four seconds. And finally, when we touch the player, we don't want it to do all of this. We just want it to stop all. And one more thing is, once we press one of the keys we just don't we don't want the bombs to immediately start appearing so we'll grab a wait until block wait until score is greater than something like three so we put that in and then if we run that here now the right now there isn't right at the beginning there aren't any bombs but as we progress into the game and we get more than three score you can see that the bombs start to appear and if we crash into one the game just stops so that's perfect but what's one thing that we're missing Correct, a background. Right now our game just seems extremely bland without a background. So I'll just quickly make a background. So yeah, I just made a background. It's very simple with some hills, a blue sky, a few clouds, and also the sun. So if we run that here, it looks a lot more enjoyable to play oh wait i forgot to change the ground let me just do that so yeah if we play that here the ground looks a lot more a lot more green so if we run that here with the background it seems so more enjoyable to play but if we stop the project it's just how it looks like in the game but we don't want that so we're going to make a thumbnail of course we're going to name the sprite thumbnail and the thumbnail should be like how the game is played so i'll just copy the background and i'll also grab the cat here Maybe I'll make him a bit smaller, rotate him a bit. Maybe place him somewhere like here. Place some collectibles. Rotate them a bit. Now the reason why I'm rotating them is to make them is to make the game seem more fun. So maybe I'll make this bigger like that. 
Now I'll just put this here. I'll also grab a bomb. Oh no, Scratchy's going to get hit. And also, maybe we're going to put some text. We're going to write score. Although it isn't like that, we're just going to put that. Maybe we're going to put something like seven. And we're going to move that somewhere here. So we're just going to move this out of the way. Whoops. We'll group that and then we'll move it out of the way so that we can make some text. Maybe you can make it uh, an outstanding color. I'll just make it black. You can use any font you like. I'll use pixel. No writing capital letters. Scratch. Jumper. Because that's the name of the game. We'll put it somewhere like here. And now we have the thumbnail. But how do we code it? Well, it's very simple. We'll first grab a go to XY block. Zero, zero. And now it's centered. And we get a one flat clicked. Go to front layer and the very first block set ghost effect to 100 so if you run the game it's totally normal but if we stop it it's the thumbnail and also if the cat is in front sometimes don't worry you can just play it again and then the cat will disappear so now so now there's actually a thumbnail which makes it attract way more people as you can see like this and we're also going to add one more danger the the rocket so i'm just going to quickly draw one okay we can name this rocket And also we need an alarm for when the rocket is going to come. So I'm going to just quickly draw one. So we're going to just name this alert. And so we're going to go to the code. And I want the, the rocket to appear after the player has at least, at least 12 score. So we're going to go to the main forever loop first and we're going to put get an if else block in the else section put the put the put the create clone of myself wait second script and then the and then the main if then branch put wait maybe one two three seconds and then we put uh greater than block on the left side we put score if score is greater than 12 because there's also going to be a rocket so they're just going to create more more clones we put that in so we're going to grab another when i start as a clone hat block and it's going to check if then else if score is greater than 12 then it's going to check for if pick random 1 2 3 1 2 4 equals to 3 so what this does so what this does is 
every time it creates a clone of myself, it will check if the score is greater than 12. If it is, then it's going to go to this if then block and it, and it's going to set a pick random thing to a number in between one and four so it's going to be four four three and it's going to do that and if that pick random one two four it's equals to three then we're going to do the rocket script script else it's just going to do the bomb script so in this other forever loop we're going to take out this and we're only going to put in this script and instead of an if block we're going to put a repeat until block and we're going to get this from here and we're going to put it in here and so we're going to duplicate this, put this in the else branch of both the if then blocks. And if pick random one to four equals to three, then we're going to set the size to 70 or whatever size that's, that fits you. And then we're going to switch costume to the alert. And we're going to go to this position. And we're going to play a sound. We're going to search alert. So we can play that. And we're going to just copy and paste it so that it's like that. And for the last part of it, I'm going to reverse it so it sounds like this. And if we run that, it sounds pretty nice, actually. So we're going to start sound alert. And we're going to make a new custom block. You can name it flash. We're not going to take the run without screen refresh because we wanted to perform an animation. So we then put our new flash block inside here and we're going to wait two seconds. We're going to hide. We're going to wait one second. We're going to show. And then we're going to wait 0 0.5 seconds and then 0 0.2 seconds and then finally we're going to wait 0 0.05 seconds and then finally we're going to switch costume to the rocket and we're going to repeat until x position is less than negative 230 And we're going to change x by negative 20 because we want the rocket to go extremely flat extremely fast and we want this to repeat until x position is oh yeah and also we need to remove this switch costume block i forgot sorry and we need to grab an or or block or touching the play or touching the player then it'll delete this clone so what this does is if the pick random 1 to 4 equals to 3, it will set size to 70. It will switch costu its costume to this alert costume. And once again, center center your, your costumes or else it will not work for you that well. And then it will 
it will do this flash block which actually kind of looks like a flash then it will switch costume to our rocket to our rocket costume and then it will repeat until it is on the far left of the screen or it's touching the 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 player it will move really fast across the screen and then it will delete this clone so we'll just we'll just rem get out of this so that i can demonstrate to you and we're going to just make it zero so we'll first get one score and there should be rockets soon any time now yeah so you can see there's the rocket and because it's at such low low scores it's there are really much of them and if we crash into one it it stops the game so we're going to put that back in and if score is greater than 12 so yeah guys that's part three part three and of how to make a classic scratch game if you enjoyed then please consider subscribing and leaving a like and comment i really do put a lot of effort into these videos and what is that seems like we forgot something so else we will put switch costume switch costume to bomb and we're going to do the same for for here and we also want to set the size to 100 and we finally want to show so if we run that the bombs should be back in place Yeah, they're the bombs. Okay, let's do this again. So yeah, guys, that's part three of of how to make a jumper game in Scratch. I hope you all enjoyed. Please consider subscribing and hitting the like button and commenting. I really do put a lot of effort into these videos. So yeah, guys, I wonder how what pro what creative projects you come up with subscribe for part four if i'm ever going to make part four bye